Hey guys, um, today on All Wheels of Steel, I'm going to be showing you how to get Map Editor for any one of the 18 Wheels of Steel games. Um, well, let me tell you a little bit about what Map Editor is. A Map Editor is where you can go into the map. Um, it's like where you drive on um, the roads and all the buildings that you see, all the scenery. You can make that your own. You can erase all of that stuff, put your own roads in, and have your own uh, routes. Um, all you need to do first is open your um, internet browser, and um, on the search or on the um, address bar on top, you're going to type in torrent. T-O-R-R-E-N-T-R-E-A-C-T-O-R dot net and all this will be in the uh, video description for you to write all the directions on how to do this. And then, once you are there, hold on, I'm going to check one thing, make sure I get this right. Okay, um, what you need to do is you need to type in your 18 wheels of steel game, so 18 wheels of steel, and I have American Long Haul, so I'm going to obviously type in American Long Haul. And then, right after your last word, don't put a space, just put um, your dash, as you can see there, the little dash, and then type in ICE187 and then search. Um, there you go. As you can see, I have there are five here. And then over to the right here, you will see this health bar. And then all these are full of green, so you know that those are good. Then you have download provider. All of these are download provider. But look at this size. Get the one with the biggest size. So this one right here would be torrent, 18 wheels of steel, American Long Haul dash ice 187 and there it is <coughs> download speed you can get it at two speeds um, 1042 gigabytes and 791 gigabytes um, this one's checked that means that this one's going to look better this, this one's also good And then now once you get to that page, you choose the one that you want. So let's just say I want to have this this one right here. So once that loads, um, my computer is kind of slow today. So then it'll come up with a server location that you have to choose. So what you do is you check whatever country that you are in. So I'm in the United States. And see in the United States gets the best download speed. All of these get the worst. If you're in Canada, you have the second best. So then once you choose the one, you click download. And then a box should come up that says, um, so just click there. Then um, a box should come up that says either open or save, and uh, it should be and then the thing is with download provider is that you need to sign up, and I don't have an account with download provider, so I'd have to make my own. But once you're signed up, the survey should be access is approved you can sign up now and then um, you just sign up and then um, a box should come up and if you ha already have uTorrent which is right here uTorrent it should be going to uTorrent um, also um, if you need uTorrent you need to go to uTorrent.com and download that and you're also going to need power ISO 
go to powerISO.com. Um, now let's see here. Um, once yours is done, you click Open Containing Folder. And um, all of these are files that you're going to need to run through Power ISO. So what you're going to need to do is, um, so what you're going to need to do is you're going to click, and then you're going to press hit, and you go all the way down to the corner one, press that, and you're going to say right click, Power ISO, and, you, and then if you did download Power ISO, you should have it right here. So you're going to scroll down to Power ISO, and then you're going to click Add to Image File. And you just click Continue and Register. You're going to click, it's going to be a ISO file. OK. There you go, there is your file. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to do that, and you're going to click Extract. And there it should say that you need to save it first. So it's saving. because mine are just going to download. Um, so what you're going to do is you're just going to click, click here to go to the bottom, click extract. It'll say that you need to save the program first, so you're going to click save. Then once you extract, it should come up to a bunch of files down here. You're going to click setup.exe, but before you do that, you're going to click on the README or whatever text document it is, and you're going to read how to do it because the author of it should have the readme ready to go. Um, well that's it for this time. Um, after mine does get down downloading though I will make a second one so this is part one of part two. Thanks for watching this has been all the Advocacy Productions.